A really cool way to make your models more adaptable is to use variables. Take this block for example. Not a very complicated model to make, but suppose you realize after making it that you wanted to make it a little bit bigger. Let's edit the sketch for the main body. Add 50% to each side. So 0.8 gets cranked up to 1.2 and 0.4 gets cranked up to 0.6. Once I exit the sketch, you can see what happens. The result is pretty hideous. The problem is the proportions got messed up. Now the block height needs to be changed, the circle size needs to be increased, it's pretty annoying. And then if you realize the size still isn't right, you need to go back and change everything again. Now check out this block. This block is set up with built-in global equations. If I want to change the size of the block, I'll open up the equations and change the unit size from 0.2 to 0.3. Hit OK and bang, the whole block resizes beautifully. The reason this works is because this model is set up with a bunch of global variables that are used to drive the dimensions. If I open up the global variables, you can see there's a unit width defined, and then everything else is based off of that. So changing that changes everything. You just have to play around a bit to find the relations that work. Here's a simple extrude of a rectangular prism. Now suppose we want the height to be something and the width to be half of that. To set up global variables, go to tools and find equations. In equations, there's a table for adding global variables. Let's add one called height, set it to two inches. Cool. Now add one called width. We could just make this one inch, but instead we'll make it height in quotes. Make sure to always reference other variables in quotes. And we'll set this to height over two. Now that we have the variable set up, let's go back and edit the sketch. Using smart dimensions, select the height. In the dialog box, type an equal sign, and these options will pop up. If you hover over global variables, you can select height. Same deal with width. Go to smart dimension, equal sign, width, done. So now when we go back and rebuild the model, you get a height of two inches and a width of one. If we decide to make the height three, Go back into equations, change height to 3, rebuild, and the width automatically updates. And you don't have to stop there. Suppose you want to link in the extrude depth also. Go back to equations and add depth. We'll set it to be width plus 1 inch. Now edit the extrude. Type in an equal sign in the dimension and the same options pop up. Just go in and select depth. Now all three dimensions are related. Changing the height will update everything. There's actually another way to do this. You don't even need to add the variable depth. You can just go straight into the extrude and set it to be width plus one. Being able to do math with your variable straight in the dialog box is really useful. In fact, it's probably not worth creating a variable unless you're gonna reference it elsewhere. For a simple model like this, setting up variables might seem like overkill. But as models get even a little bit more complex, it can make your model much, much more fluid to change. There's another cool, maybe even better way to use variables. Let's go back to the block we set up. The global variables mean we can change the unit dimensions and everything will update. But suppose we have a bunch of different blocks, like in this assembly. Even if you update one block, the rest of them will stay the same. The way to handle this is to set up an external file of dimensions. This is the file I have for the blocks. It's just a regular notepad text doc. You can see that the variables and relations are the same as what we set up earlier. Now take a look at this block. This one is driven by the external dimensions file. If I want to change something, I'll go to the file, change the unit width, save it, go back to SolidWorks and hit rebuild. And you can see that the block resizes. Pretty awesome. You can probably immediately see how powerful this can be because now all of our blocks can be linked to one external dimensions file. Change one number here and it will update every single model. Here's our block assembly again. I'll change one number in the dimensions doc, save it, and then rebuild the assembly. And you can see that they all update. This is super cool. It's so much faster than updating them one by one. Let's do another example from scratch. Open up a fresh notepad file and let's type in height equals two inches. Some important formatting things to note the variable is in double quotes, and there's no space between the number and the unit. 
We'll also add width equals height over 2. And save this as my box dimensions. Now go back into SolidWorks and make a new part. Make a sketch. Sketch a quick rectangle. Okay, now to get our dimensions into SolidWorks, we go to Tools, Equations, then in Equations hit Import. Now you simply browse to the location of my box dimensions and double click it. You get this window popping up and you can see that the variables and relations from the text doc are listed here. Hit import and the table gets filled in. Now we can hit OK and use the dimensions we just imported exactly how we used the local variables earlier. Set the height to height. Set the width to width. We can also work with the dimensions like before. So if we extrude this rectangle, we can set it to width plus one, just like before. If we want to change things, go back to the dimensions file, make the change, go back and rebuild. If you decide you need a new variable, it's a little bit trickier. Go to the text file and add the variable, say depth equals width plus one. Save it. The problem is just rebuilding in SolidWorks won't update. You have to go to the equations and import the file again. Everything you did with the old variables will still be there. And now you can see depth is listed there as well. And that's pretty much the basics of variables and equations. It's really easy to get the hang of once you use it a couple of times. And it can make your life a lot easier.